after walking a long journey with rheumatoid arthritis. The first time I came here, I was walking with a, a cane, a walking cane. And every time I visited, there was improvement. I, I could not go up the stairs, so I used to teach downstairs in another room, not my own class. Every time I was done scans, improvement, improvement. Welcome and welcome again to our channel. My name is Jackie Wenda and today I'm with my guest, Madam Boga. She'll introduce herself. Yes, um, my name is Marcy Johona, uh, Mama Bogo. I yes. have a patient with a human garage where we believe in Tiba Bila Dawa. Yes. So with me today is uh, one of our patients who has gone through uh, the 12 weeks to wellness sessions and right now she's in her maintenance stage. This is why by now she has done the 12 sessions and now she's just coming for maintenance to, con to let the body continue uh, to be in the state that it's been after the treatment so that you don't go back to the pain that she had when she started the treatment. So today she's going to be telling us about her health journey story. So I'm gonna tell her to start telling us how, what brought her here first, how long it's occurred, and what's the progress till today. Well, I was brought here by my husband. Uh, I, I think it was a field day where you are educating people or creating awareness. When I came here, I thought, I listened to what the doctor and the staff were saying. And I wanted to try it. And I can assure you, I have not looked back. Because it is, uh, it is good. So what brought you here? Like, were you sick or you just came for wellness? Well, the reason why he brought me here, as I have mentioned, my husband brought me here is after walking a long journey with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in year 2001. And I started a journey with one Dr. Wanene who rested, may he rest in peace. And uh, I was uh, on medication for those over 20 years, because I can tell you that I met Dr. Hamisi in December 2022, December 2022. So I went through a journey that I, with a lot of confidence with Mr. with Dr. Wanene for arthritis, but when he got weak, health and age referred me to another doctor and I felt I was not comfortable with him. So in my search for a person who would fit in Dr. Wanene's shoes, I was brought here to see something or something different. And I came to this Tibabila Dawa, or the so-called human garage, and I felt it was worth trying. And I can tell you I've not looked back. I just found what I wanted. But what I would have desired to have. I found it here. I have no intentions of looking back. The journey was tough, that of uh, with Dr. Wanene, with the steroids, with supplements, uh, painkillers, another medication for arthritis. And the pain would go and come, go and come. At times, even when I'm on medication, I would still have uh, a lot of pain and then a uh, medication is changed to make it stronger. The pain was never ending, but I had a lot of trust that I would get this pain go through that medication. 
but who is God? He gave me a different direction. And that is how I, I, I came here. And the journey with Dr. Hamisi has taken me very uh, about one year because the first session, those are six months, the first compulsory 12 sessions was coming here twice a month. And every time I visited, there was improvement. Every time I was done scans, improvement, improvement. The first time I came here, I was walking with a, a cane, a walking cane. And I had braces on the knees. I don't know whether I call them braces or knee support so that I could walk. And I was doing it with a lot of pain. And at, a, at some point, uh, the doctor told me there was more than arthritis. I was suffering from nerves. I don't know what that means. The nerves were failing. I was very worried about it. And then when I came and saw Dr. Hamisi, Alinia Bia one thing. He told me, here we don't give medicine and we don't do surgery. No operations, no medication. And by the time I was coming here, my sister had already started uh, her journey for operation. It's like a family thing. I don't know whether I should call it family arthritis. So my, el my mom is in it. My elder sister, the knees were worse. Even she was, she is actually not need. And she was proceeding to U.S. for operation. And I was also thinking, if I was able, I would also follow her. That U.S. where people go and they are operated, make a replacement. Yes. And you start working normally. But I was still fearing. I, I, I wouldn't cheat that I would love to go to theater. And while I was still wondering what to do, Dr. Hamisi appears and tells me no medication no surgery and i thought i had found the right person and indeed he was so the first thing if you want me to treat you stop taking medication huh? that, that that sound sounded yes uh rather strange for over 20 years i had lived with medication one in the morning lunch time Usiku. Hmm? And there were many. I was taking a lot of a lot of medication at one city. I, especially during cold seasons. I would have very serious defeats or what. And I was this was in December. Because I'm a sour. January will be hot. February will be hot, so I can survive. But I could see by July things will be very bad. But I decided to give it a trial. Yes. What surprised me is that come March during the rainy season, April, I'm okay. Just coming for my appointments, I'm treated. Was waiting for June, July, nothing happened. And you can do it is possible. Tiba Bila Dawa is real. So it was at first when, you, when, when the doctor told you to stop taking the medication which you had been put by your other doctor for over 20 years, it was challenging for you. You were afraid that when it comes to June, July during the cold season, your legs might start hurting again. Yes. So now it's been now one, one year and three months since you started this uh, mm -hmm. treatment. Mm -hmm. How is the progress? Progress, I can tell you it's positive progress. And it's wonderful. Maybe as a by the way, I can mention that uh, I've been a teacher for the last almost 40 years. Eh? Yes. And it's not easy. You don't sit when you are when you are teaching. And as I got closer to retirement, life was very difficult. You know, I'm I'm not able to study for long. I was teaching a subject that had double double lessons, and I was in pain such that even my students would get very worried. They were running after me with a chair. Teacher, sit. If I'm carrying something like a bag, they are ready to carry it for me. They would come immediately, the bell goes, 
back uh, to carry my books. I looked very weak. I could not go up. Uh, I could not go up the stairs, so I used to teach downstairs in another room, not my own class, because of the difficulties of climbing. I also even thought I would never climb stairs normally. 